When it comes to self-defense, having a powerful handgun can make all the difference. And with the advancements in firearm technology, there are more compact and subcompact options than ever before. Today, we're going to explore the top choices for those who prioritize stopping power in their concealed carry firearms. So if you're in the market for a handgun that packs a serious punch, grab a seat and let's dive in to the world of the most powerful handguns for concealed carry. Rock Island Armory BBR 3.10 The BBR 3.10 is a single-action 45 ACP semi-automatic pistol based on John Browning's 1911 design with some notable updates common to modern interpretations of this classic pistol. The 3.10 in its name is a nod to the short 3.1-inch long linked barrel, which has three round gas ports along the top to help mitigate felt recoil. The business end of the barrel is fitted to the slide without a removable bushing. The slide and frame are both made from carbon steel with a matte black parkerized finish. The metallic sight system is dovetailed into the slide with a serrated front sight and a fully adjustable white dot rear sight. The pistol's controls, including the slide stop, external thumb safety, and round button magazine release, are all located on the left side of the frame in the typical 1911 fashion. The skeletonized hammer is couched in an extended beaver tail safety with a short memory bump. The frame's dust cover is rounded, as is the traditional trigger guard. The skeletonized aluminum trigger features a grooved face and an adjustable over-travel screw. The G10 grip panels provide a reliable level of purchase, without being abrasive to the skin of the shooting hand. If you think you need a pocketful of 45 ACP for a close encounter, you'd be genuinely hard-pressed to find anything better than the BBR. You really could sort of throw out a wall of 230 grain bullets in about the time it takes to think of it. That's bound to get somebody's attention. Charter Arms Bulldog DAO. A surefire way of stopping a threat is to poke big holes into it. Charter Arms gives you the ability to do exactly this with its legendary 44 Special Bulldog. The 2.5 inch barreled revolver has been around for a spell, first introduced in the early 1970s, and has only gotten better with time. This includes some much needed tweaks to the original design, such as making the front sight integral to the barrel and expanding the selection of models to keep up with the prevailing concealed carry trends. The DAO is one such example. A clipped spur isn't absolutely essential for concealed carry revolvers, but it does up the odds of a clean draw each time the gun is unholstered. Not to mention, it makes the revolver more comfortable to carry. The five-round revolver is very controllable, especially for weighing 21 ounces and pitching bullets up to 300 grains in weight. Much of this is due to the low pressure at which the 44 Special operates, and it is further helped down this road with generous grips complete with finger grooves. Being chambered for 44 Special, however, does pose a bit of a challenge. Ammo is not as abundant as it is for the 38 Special or 357 Magnum. But for those willing to shop around, there are solid and hard-hitting options and plenty of peace of mind in holstering a dog that definitely has bite. Smith & Wesson M&P 45 Shield M 2.0 The 45 M&P Shield M 2.0 is a stellar little carry gun that doesn't get nearly enough props. It's a single-stack striker-fired polymer pistol designed to withstand daily carry and frequent use, and it gets the job done. This pistol has an aggressively textured grip, so aggressive you can hold on even when your hands are dripping with sweat or water. The polymer frame is embedded with a stainless steel rigid chassis for durability, and the stainless steel slide has a tough armorite finish. Capacity is a little limited. The 45 Shield ships with one 6-round magazine and one 7-round magazine. Factory white 3-dot sights are standard. The barrel is 3.3 inches long, the gun's overall weight is 20.5 ounces, and it can be field stripped without pulling the trigger. As for accuracy, this is a precise pistol. Granted, it has a shorter barrel, so it's better for distances under 15 yards. But that doesn't mean it can't be used at greater distances. If you want an upgrade version right out of the box, Smith & Wesson also has the Shield 45 available from their performance center with a load of upgrades already made. Ruger SP-101 Ruger has several rock-solid options that make dandy concealed carry revolvers, but few match the elegant nasty of this SP-101 model. The SP-101 gives you 5 rounds of 357 Magnum or 38 Special at your disposal in a manageable package. The handgun tips the scales at 25 ounces tending towards the heavier end of carry pieces, 
but not bad for a single-piece stainless steel frame revolver. That weight pays off when the gun is fired, taming the snappy Magnum's recoil. Doubly so with the revolver's meaty rubberized grips. Ruger has configured this SP-101 for going undercover by including a spurless hammer and by rounding every conceivable snag point, including the front sight. Furthermore, its 2.25 inch barrel and 7.2 inch overall length make the double action a breeze to keep under wraps. Of course, common with any gun that focuses on concealability, there are trade offs. In this case, the barrel length will not allow the 357 Magnum to come close to its full ballistic potential. With that said, it will still send a load of fury downrange. Heckler & Koch USP Compact 45 Compact 45 ACP pistols aren't the easiest to pull off, but H&K does it eloquently with the USP. The HK USP Compact is a small frame pistol capable of firing the most powerful cartridges in 9mm. 40 SNW and 45 ACP. Based on the full size USP models, these handy pistols combine compact size with optimum effective shooting performance. Despite being a hair taller than some concealed carry guns, the UPS still fits this bill. A lightweight polymer frame qualifies it for everyday carry, as does its reliability. Capacity is a little underwhelming at 10 plus 1, but that's to be expected with a compact 45. If you're getting the USP, I suggest going for H&K's LEM Trigger, a modified DASA system. It offers an exceptionally light and clean break after the first shot. Springfield Armory XDM Elite 3.8 Compact OSP This is the striker-fired 45 ACP concealable handgun you've been waiting for. With a 10 plus 1 capacity, this is a big gun in a small package. The XDM Elite 3.8 Compact OSP's frame is injection-molded polymer and will provide a full-fingered grip for all but the largest hands. Aggressive texturing provides a secure grip. A removable extended magazine well flares outward and can be replaced with a grip extension if desired. With that extension in place, the pistol's capacity goes up to 13 plus 1 with the appropriate magazines, which are also available from Springfield Armory. There is a dust cover rail for mounting a light or laser. The slide is machined from a steel forging and has wide caulking serrations at the front and rear. A visual and tactile loaded chamber indicator is located on the top of the slide, and the striker is visible at the rear of the slide when caulked. All steel parts have a black melanite finish. The barrel is integrally wrapped and uses standard land and groove rifling. There is no manual thumb safety, but the gun has a trigger safety and a grip safety. All controls, including the slide stop and magazine release, are fully ambidextrous out of the box. At around 35 ounces loaded, this is a relatively heavy handgun, which, along with the captive dual spring recoil system, helps soften the blow of the 45 ACP. From a size perspective, the XDM Elite 3.8 Compact OSP has roughly the same footprint as a Glock 19, which makes it reasonably concealable. Still, 11 rounds of 45 ACP in such a small package is a lot of firepower. And that's a wrap on our video exploring the most powerful handguns for concealed carry. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in your search for the perfect firearm for self-defense. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and we hope to see you again for more content on the world of firearms. Until then, stay safe and enjoy shooting.